What's going on, boys? If you want to win in Madden 23 on a regular, consistent basis, I'm going to be going over a full defensive breakdown, the only defense you need to become a better Madden 23 player right now. Make sure that if you enjoy these tips and this type of breakdown concept, that you drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button. They are both free and only take a half a second of your time. Watch the entire video and let's get into the breakdown. All right, so starting off on the defensive side of the ball, the first thing you need to know out of the nickel over defense is you have to have your quick adjustments down to a T. So we are in the nickel over. What I like to do, I like to make sure that I'm on auto base align if they are playing bunch or if they are in a trips type of look. If not, I'm gonna be on default, okay? Now also, I wanna be on match coverage, whether I'm running man coverage, whether I'm running cover two, it don't matter. I want to be on match coverage so I don't have to change that. Option defense, I like to leave the QB left open in the option so my user can go down and get him. I want to make sure that the pitch and the dive is taken care of by the CPU. Overstorm Brave, this is all post patch. The only defense you need, Overstorm Brave, cover six, cover three, buzz seam, and then my stock play that I come out in is cover four. Okay, cover four quarters out of the nickel over. I am in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. So let's say they come out in a gun trips type of set and they are trying to hit you with corner routes. So we're gonna go to X under. Now the first important step that I like to do is pinch my linebackers no matter what. I wanna give my opponent a kind of aggressive look, okay? So to do that, you're gonna push the D pad to the right and then you're gonna push down on the left stick to pinch. Now, these guys I wanna touch and I wanna walk them down. No matter the defense that I'm running, I wanna help with the run. If they do an inside shoot or anything like that, I want them guys close into the box. That's another reason why I wanna be in base line instead of having them exactly over the person to get blocked easier. Now, you gotta know quick adjustments. So YY or triangle triangle is gonna bring up your secondary. You can do a lot of things with them. You can manually press, you can individually shade, you can go ahead and spotlight receiver. It's a lot of things you wanna do on this play, okay? So if we are trying to combat corner routes, cover three and cover four is gonna be the best way. This is what my defense look like. We have matching concepts, okay? So they have three, receivers over here okay so you have number one you have number 10 and you have number 18 that's three receivers okay right here you have three people plus your user over here you have two you have the tight end and you have the running back okay so this side of the field is what we're going to be occupied on and paying attention to the most so what i like to do on a setting like this the first time is just in case my opponent has a bomb, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do YY triangle triangle, go to LB, and then I'm gonna put him into a deep half. It should be looking like that. That's what I'm gonna do the first time so there's no one play touchdowns available, okay? Now, from there, if they are doing corner routes, we're just gonna leave it stock, and this is how I'm gonna use her. I'm gonna come down a step, come around, and boom, super fast pressure on the quarterback, either from the left side or the right side, all post patch if they are sending out five receivers okay we're gonna go through that again first thing i'm gonna do is always pinch my linebackers and bring them down a step each you have enough time you have about four seconds to do this and then i'm gonna deep half him so the play is all set up looking like that and then i'm gonna come right here i'm gonna step down and then i'm gonna look for work boom two people comes in that time that's gonna make your opponent number one block more people and number two start forcing quick passes all right so if we just ran the cover four that's when you're going to come in here and change it up so i would do 30 right here i would do five right here and then you can do five with the hooks okay so now we're going to audible into a different place so we're going to come out and cover four we just stopped them with the corner routes the first time some people hard hit it so if we audible into cover six 
Okay, now with cover six, you're going to have that same cover four on one side matching principles, but now we're going to have a cover two on that side. So we're going to pinch out linebackers. We're going to walk these guys down. You can put him into his five yard purple. So now you have a 25, 30 yard blue. You have a five yard purple. And then right here, I like to put him into an inside quarter. Okay, now you can do anything on the back side, on the right side if you want to. But remember, that corner route is going to be taken by that blue. That five yard is going to be taken by the running back. And then you're going to be watching the middle. So I will use her like this. I will come down, trail underneath this route, see where those breaks open, come back down, and the pressure should get to the quarterback. Okay, so behind the scenes, you know exactly what adjustments you are making, but they don't. So if we look at this in the replay once again, we look at this in the replay, okay? We made adjustments, okay? So we're going to have the corner route taken. He can throw it to the running back super fast right there, but we do have a five-yard purple right there, okay? Now, if he tries to force this, we have that inside quarter that's going to be right there for a quick second, and then we have him running right into this cloud, okay? So we just gave them an entirely different look. I'm going to go back to default because I'm going to go back into a match defense again. So we're going to come out into cover three seam this time, but we're going to do it from cover four quarters because I want to make sure that I got them two high safeties. The full breakdown is in the ebook down below. Appreciate all the love and support. Everybody that has the ebook already or is a Patreon member, shout out to y'all. Peach the linebackers, walk them down a couple steps. Okay, this is what you look like in the background. Now I'm going to go into cover three buzz. And I'm going to man him up right here. I'm going to walk him into the area. I'm going to man him up. And I'm going to blitz my user. This is how I'm going to be looking. It's two small adjustments. Okay? Now, you can even go all out and then put him onto the running back. And all you have to do is hover and watch any route coming back towards you. Okay? So, if we do it like this, boom. Run around. Look for work over here. We're going to begin pressure on the quarterback with a great great defense adjustments behind the scenes okay some people are going to be motioning other type of stuff i will go into all that in the ebook but as you can see all these adjustments are real good we got that manned up on the right side we have matching principles on the left side we have double coverage on that uh route right there number 10 so in case somebody want to chuck it up and try to highball it and we go around in a circle just a small user, act like we're going out there to the running back, come back, look for work right here. If he throws it real fast, boom, pick. But he don't even get but about three seconds. So one, two, three. We already got the people all over him. Okay, now say they go into like a bunch type of scheme. Okay, they're going to streak or fade somebody. Some of them will pull them out to try to bring that guy down. And you can make adjustments super fast with your quick route. You can put him into a... Uh, uh, outside quarter right stick so why why triangle triangle go to b go to outside quarter that'll play corner routes very very good okay so we we'll hike the ball come down boom that corner route right there is not super open okay you are all over that corner route now if you want that person to be underneath the corner route i will man him up on a and then i will leave that short zone right there and i will come over here and work and now he's underneath that corner route as you can see the corner route has the pass through the guy that i have pressed down close to the line of scrimmage okay so if you run cover three and he's pressed over there that one guy is down to the line of scrimmage you can see him right there he's going to do a trail technique so if he forces the corner route he's going to be all over the corner route for you to click on and make a play okay now you just have to make sure that you take advantage of all the other routes on the field perfect perfect defense now if y'all need any more help and y'all enjoyed the video 15 likes and i will get back in the lab and bring y'all more madden 23 post patch defensive tips remember you get the ebook you're gonna get a discord you can ask me questions in the discord 24 hours a day and i will make a video based on that or a scheme for you let's get it